Morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday in the fourth week in Ordinary Time, the Memorial of St. John Bosco. St. John was born near Castle Nuovo in the Diocese of Turin in 1815. His early years were most difficult, and so, once ordained to the priesthood, he dedicated himself to the education of the young, founding congregations which would instruct youth in both the arts and the Christian life. He also composed pamphlets for the support and defense of religion. St. John died in 1888. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks, and to his court with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord! Eternal is merciful love, is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. I will sing to you, O Lord, I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song of, is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false hearted must keep far away, the wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, 
I will never endure. I look to you, the faithful, in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who works in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever, or make for it your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. To whom you promised to multiply their offspring, like the stars of heaven, or the sun on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were holocaust of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let us sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who turns my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man, did you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life hurts like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shout your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the thanksgiving heart. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest St. John Bosco, as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, 
Jesus endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding of blood. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. And to him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. Please stand. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you O lord when jesus has crossed again in the boat to the other side a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea one of the synagogue officials named Cyrus, came forward seeing him he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years, she had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet he was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came out behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see, how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. 
Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message the hats that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, While this commotion and weeping, this child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Tali takum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, rose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise ye, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa kanilang lahat at welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Mga kapatid, narinig ho natin sa ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito ang pagpapagaling ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa dalawang babae. Ang babaeng dinudugo sa loob ng labindalawang taon, 12 years, at ang batang babae na 12 years old na anak ni Jairus na isang sinagog official, isang hudyo. At marahil, napapansin ho natin na merong common element ho sa pagpapagaling ng ating Panginoon. At ito ay pananampalataya, faith. Gumaling ang dalawang babae dahil sa pananampalataya ng babaeng dinudugo at ni Jairus, ang ama ng batang babae. Tama ho ba yung pananampalataya ng babaeng dinudugo at yung pananampalataya ni Jairus? Kaya nga ho, uh, narinig ho natin sa ating Ibanghelyo, sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa yung babaeng dinudugo, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. At sinabi din ho ng ating Panginoon Jesus kay Jairus, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. Marayal napansin niyo ho, common element ng papabaling ng ating Panginoon Jesus, pananampalataya, faith. Tama ho ba? The healing, the miracle happened, because of the faith of the woman who had hemorrhaged for 12 years and the faith of Jairus, the father of a 12-year-old child who was apparently dead. Tama ho ba? Kung, nagsa, yung, kung sagot niyo po sa tanong ko ay tama, tama din naman ho kayo. Pero masasabi ko, parang mayroong kulang. May kulang sa main ingredient. May kulang sa main elemento sa bawat pagpapagaling ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Ano po yung kulang? Ano po yung main ingredient na marahil ay hindi natin masyadong napapansin? Yung main ingredient ho, yung main element na kulang minsan sa tingin natin ay yung pong pananampalataya ng ating Panginoong Yesus. 
It's the faith of Jesus, the faithfulness of Jesus that contaminated the woman and Jairus. The faith can do the impossible and the faith that can move mountains. At yan po yung reflection, hindi ko original na naisipan ho, nabasa ko ho. Yan pa yung reflection po ni Father Albert Nolan O.P. na isang paring Dominikano na naka-assign sa South Africa. Nakilala ho siya sa kanyang sinulat na libro, Jesus Before Christianity. At tatlong buwan po yung nakalipas, siya po yung namatay sa Johannesburg, South Africa no, sa edad na 87. At sinasabi ho ni Father Albert Nolan na may dalawang elements sa pagpapagaling ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Una, ang pananampalataya ni Yesus na naka, uh, nakakahawa, oozing with faith ang ating Panginoon, oozing with faithfulness to the Father. At yung pananampalataya niya ay nakakahawa sa iba. Nahawa yung babaeng dinudugo at nahawa si Jairus. At pangalawa, ang pananampalataya ng may sakit na naging bukas sa pagpapagaling. It's all about the faith that contaminates and the faith that heals. Pananampalatayang nakakahawa at pananampalatayang nakakagaling. Hanggang saan ho kaya yung ating pananampalataya? Napapansin ho kaya natin na tayo gumagaling? Tayo ay bumabait? Gumagaan ho ang ating pakiramdam sa tuwing tayo nagdadasal, sa, tu sa tuwing tayo nakikipag-connect sa ating Panginoon, sa Diyos. Pero napapansin din ho kaya natin na dahil sa pananampalatay natin, yung ibang tao, siguro yung katabi mo, ay eh gumagaling din, bumabait din, gumabagaad din yung pakiramdam kahit na may marong mga pagsubok sa buhay. It's faith that contaminates and faith that heals. Parang sinasabi ni Father Albert Nolan, kapag yung pananampalataya, na, pananampalataya natin, eh tayo lang hong yung nakikinabang, gumagaling, gumagaan ng pakiramdam, eh parang kulang. Pag tunay na pananampalataya yan, pag punong-puno pa yun ng pananampalataya, nahahawa yung ibang tao. May kwento ho ng mag-asawa na yung babae ay relyoso. Palaging nagsisimba, palaging nagdadasal. Yung asawang lalaki naman ho niya, eh, ayaw magdasal, ayaw magsimba. Walang hilig sa reliyon. At tuwing umuwi yung babaeng asawa, ay palagi ho siyang kinukutya nung kanyang asawa. Sinasabi nung kanyang asawa, sayang lang ang oras mo dyan. Wala ka naman mapapala dyan. Wala kang mapapala sa pananampalataya mo. Nauubos lang, nawawala lang ang oras mo dyan. Pareho pa rin ang buhay natin. Walang pagbabago. Sayang lang. Wala kang mapapala dyan. Palagi sinasabi nung asawang lalaki sa asawa niya, Pero minsan, isinagot ho siya nung asawang babae. Sabi niya, Oo, dahil sa pananampalataya ko, marami yung nawawala sa akin. Nawawala yung galit ko sa iyo. Nawawala yung sama ng loob ko sa iyo. Nagiging kalmado ako. Gumagaan ang pakiramdam ko. Gumagaling ako. Pero sa tingin ko, parang kulang yung pananampalataya ko. Kasi hanggang ngayon, di ka pa rin nahahawa. Hanggang ngayon, di ka pa rin nagbabago. Kaya magandang pagnilayan mo natin. Hanggang saan ho kaya yung ating pananampalataya? Hanggang pananampalatayang nagpapagaling lungong ba? O yung pananampalataya natin ay nakakahawad din? Marami ho tayong iniingi sa ating Panginoon. Marami tayong iniingi sa Diyos. Marami tayong hinihingi kay Apo Baket. Pero bago ang lahat, sana ho, hingi natin 
yung pananampalataya. Faith that heals and faith that contaminates. Kaya sa misang to, let us fervently pray. Let us ardently ask the Lord for faith before anything else. Perhaps it is good to pray, Lord, increase my faith that I may be healed and that others may be healed because of my faith. Amen. We all stand. Better sisters and brothers, confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our requests with open-hearted generosity, without bringing our needs before Him. For every intention, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by her care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may cooperate with those who are engaged in providing clean and healthy environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The doctors and nurses and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That medical science may soon find cure for rare diseases which prevent those who suffer from them from living full and active life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry as a Tom and St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñarfort, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who mourn the death of a child may be consoled by their faith in the gentle mercy of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting in you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through the goodness we have received, to bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through the goodness we have received, to wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, 
the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed John Bosco, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Bosco, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, a drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity Together, Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. all stand as one family with faith hope and love let us now pray with confidence to our loving father in the words our savior gave us grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ to send your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer its other the sign of peace lamb of god you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi po sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. What you say of me does not come from yourself. It is the Spirit of Father speaking in me. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he showed to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourself. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic 
My dear sisters and brothers, let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed John Bosco, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat ho sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwang dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, you may just candles, oil, and other religious articles, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.